What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Poketrista here, bringing you guys episode number three of our Learning Laddering series in the Little Cup tier. Uh, I've had some problems trying to find a battle, as you can see. I decided to re-record uh, this video because the intro was pretty long. Uh, I kind of rambled a little bit, and we couldn't find a battle, so I was like, you know what? I'll just re-record it. And uh, there you go. That's that's uh, the message that I kept getting for the battle. So, if you guys are excited for this Little Cup uh, episode, make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you could if you guys missed out on any episodes that went up earlier this week make sure to check down in the description down below there is the playlist for every single tier that we've played so far as well as the link for my my uh, twitter is in the description as well make sure that you go follow me over there you'll know whenever a video goes live whenever i go live on twitch and twitch is down in the description as well the link for that twitch is a live streaming service uh, i stream over there from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, Monday through Friday. I've, I've streamed all week this week. I'm pretty excited about it. I really enjoy Twitch. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Hopefully you guys can come out and support us over there. As uh, Twitch is a little easier to get involved in. Like it's a little easier to build your Twitch uh, rather than building YouTube because it's just it's easier. The, the uh, I guess you could say that the traffic. There's more traffic over on Twitch than YouTube. Um, but anyway. We did make one change to the team. I didn't build a brand new Little Cup team because I just, you know, I felt like this team was really good and I wanted to use it some more. So, uh, the Little Cup tier uh, was good to us last time, except for one Pokemon who had trouble, uh, which was Arkin. And I decided to replace Arkin with Magby. So, Magby, welcome to the team. <laughs> Magby, Magby is holding uh, the Berry Juice. And the reason, I'll, I'll explain why in a second. Uh, he's got the Flame Body ability. as Fire Punch, Mock Punch, Belly Drum, and Thunder Punch. Now, if you guys watched our UU uh, with Slurpuff, you already know what Belly Drum does. Uh, if you watched our OU with Azumarill, I think we used Belly Drum on that one as well. So um, if you guys have watched those videos, you know what Belly Drum does. I'm not. Belly Drum basically halves your health, your HP, and it, uh, it uh, maxes out your attack, which basically means my attack is going to be plus 6 which is going to be times 4, which is going to be, oh my goodness, math. <laughs> it's going to be 68. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. It's going to be 68. So my attack will be 68, which is sky high. Uh, Fire Punch, Mock Punch, and Thunder Punch, just for coverage. Fire Punch is stab. Mock Punch is priority, and Thunder Punch is coverage. Uh, but yeah, Magby hopefully can put in some work. We got swept by Magby, I think, uh, the last time we recorded some Little Cups. So hopefully, Magby can do some work. Arkin was uh, just kind of useless. So... I'm actually going to look for a battle. Had some trouble finding the battle, so I'm actually going to pause it until we find one, and I will be right back. All right, folks, we're back. That took a little bit longer than I thought I was going to, but that's okay. Uh, we actually have, oh, wow. We actually have a really interesting team here. We have a Pineco, a Darumaka, a Froki. Oh, boy. This is looking kind of scary. Froki's really good in this tier. Darumaka with a Choice Scarf is pretty scary, too. Um, I don't know what to lead with here. I don't have anything to put up rocks. Uh, Pineco is kind of an issue. So I kind of want to leave with Magby uh, to kill the Pineco. Magby actually puts in a lot of work. If I can get rid of his uh, Froki then, and uh, Chin Chow, then Magby actually kind of wins. But uh, right now, I, I think I'm going to leave with Magby against his Pineco. Hopefully, that's what he decides to lead with. Ah, Pineco's going to have Sturdy. Pineco's going to be a problem. This guy said, please hurry. Why don't you start the timer, bro? Um, Pineco's going to be a problem for me. Actually, leave with Porygon. What doesn't do anything against this guy's team, though? To be honest, Carvana doesn't do anything. So I'm actually gonna leave with Carvana here, and I can go for a crunch on this Pineco. Uh, if he wants to explode, he can. That's fine. I'm gonna crunch. Uh, if he wants to go for spikes or rocks or whatever he wants to go for, then that's cool too. Uh, I'm just gonna crunch. That did not kill. Uh, he is gonna get berry juice. Why? That's interesting. So I'm just gonna crunch again. Uh, no reason not to. I, I, I don't understand what uh, item this guy's running, to be honest. Uh, we are going to kill this thing, though, with a crunch. If he wants to switch out, he can. Uh, he doesn't. Pineco, uh, I, I'm actually surprised he wasn't running Berry Juice, because he is sturdy. Pineco uh, does have sturdy. Uh, Berry Juice, sturdy Pineco seems like a good set, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe he didn't want to do that. So, uh, this is probably going to be a Froki or, Car or a uh, Pineco. Or not Pineco. Uh, what's the Pokemon I'm thinking of? Cacturn. But he actually goes on to Chinchow here. Not sure why. Um, Punch is going to do a lot. I kind of want to save this thing, though, just for uh, Darumaka, just so I can go for Aqua Jet and kill it. So I'm going to actually switch out here into my... Uh, do I switch out to Porygon? I think so. I think I switch out to Porygon here. Uh, what is happening? What is this guy doing with the Battle Timer? I'm going to switch out to Porygon. Hopefully we can take this uh, Discharge. Yikes. 
we do take it though. We do eat it up. So I'm going to go for try attack. No reason not to. I kind of want to go for recover, but I'm just going to try attack here. It's going to hydro. That's not going to kill. Uh, try attack is going to hit. It's going to do a lot. Um, if he's going to go for hydro, then I can go to crow gunk here and get off the fake out and then uh, do something else. Or, yeah, he's going to go for hydro. I'm going to go to crow gunk here. If he goes for discharge again, then that's just disgusting. He goes for hydro. We're gonna we're gonna get some uh, some nice health back. I'm gonna fake out. And then I'm gonna power up, punch, and kill this thing. Uh, discharge shouldn't kill me. No, I don't think it should. Uh, we are gonna fake out though. They did a lot. I wish we had some priority on this thing, but we don't. Um, discharge is gonna be coming my way, so I don't really have anything I can do here. I just have to power up, punch, and uh, kill. We actually outsped. Wow. So we do get a power up, punch off, and we do kill this thing. Um, now I think. Roki? No, Cacturn. Okay, well that's interesting. He is a dark... Oh, he's not dark. Okay, so I can go for Poison Jab, though. What's he gonna do? Sucker Punch? Poison Jab's gonna take this thing out. He's sashed. So he's gonna get off a Toxic, but... What? I don't know if that's a misclick or, or not, but I'm just gonna go for another Power of Punch. Uh, he actually's gonna forfeit. I'm not sure why he... Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe this guy's just new. I kinda wanna see where I am on the ladder, though, in Little Cup. Actually, no. I think I already know where I'm at, so... We're just going to go ahead and look for another battle. Uh, well, I could have just looked right then, but unfortunately, uh, I did not. So, there's that's new. What's this say? Oh, oh, a rate, a rate my team room? Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, I, yeah, okay. It's a forum on Smogon. I knew that. But I, I was just, oh, that's really cool. So, now we are talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Um... Porygon, if I can get rid of Scrafty, Porygon can do a little bit, because I do have Thunderbolt on it. Yeah, so I can kill Volibee, and I can kill Surskit if I get rid of Scrafty. Scrafty's kind of scary. I don't know what he leads with here. Maybe Volibee, though. Good luck and have fun. I should probably start linking my YouTube in these uh, chats, just to, just to let people know. <laughs> But I'm not going to do that, of course. Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and lead straight with Porygon, though. Because uh, I think he's leading with... Oh, he leads with Surskit. That's actually fine with me. Oh, uh, we get the attack, not the special attack raise. I wonder what's going to do more. I'll try attack or recover. I'm actually going to check really quick. Uh, Surskit's kind of a problem, though. Because he's going to set up Sicky Webs unless we can KO it right away. Which we're not going to be able to because I think he should be Sashed. Um, yeah, I think he's Sashed. So I'm going to look at what Porygon can do to this thing. So, a Tri-Attack is not going to kill. What about a Thunderbolt? How's Thunderbolt doing? I wish I had Thunder now, just in case. But uh, Thunderbolt is actually going to kill it, so I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. I think he's going to be Sash, though. But uh, Sticky Web is going to happen. Thunderbolt did nothing. Wow, that did absolutely zero. So, I'm just going to go ahead and Thunderbolt again, right? I'm going to Tri-Attack. Just in case, we're going to see. Uh, he Tri-Attacks here. Maybe into Scrafty, maybe into uh, Whimsicott. Or not Whimsicott. What's Whimsicott's... Uh, Evolution. Cottony. That's right. Maybe into Cottony. Uh, it doesn't matter. I went for Tri Attack, not Thunderbolt, so. That's fine with me. Baton passing out, though, into his bag on uh, to try to take the Thunderbolt, but unfortunately for him, I uh, did not go for Thunderbolt. I went for Tri Attack. So, what is this thing going to do? I actually don't know what this does to me, so. Kind of nervous to do anything. What does bag on usually run? Now I'm, now I'm really nervous. <laughs> Now I'm really nervous. Uh, Dragon Dance, Little Cup Dragon Dance. Uh, he can't touch me. Dragon Claw does 50, but that's not enough. So I'm going to try attack again. Dragon Rush does a lot. That did so much. So in comes Scrafty, right? Or Surskit. Maybe Surskit kills me from this range, actually. If he actually has an attacking move. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Sticky Webs is definitely a problem. Actually, he's going to go into Bullaby here. Um, he's definitely going to outspeed me, right? I kind of want to go for Recover, but I'm, I feel like I just need a Thunderbolt. Get off as much damage as I can, if I can. He actually is just going to go for Dark Pulse and take me out. So that's a good play. Um, I kind of want to go into Carvana. I don't know why I kind of want to do that, but I do. I can go into Hone Edge. Actually, I think Hone Edge is probably my best play. Then I can SD. Uh, if he wants to switch, then he switches. If he doesn't want to switch, then that's fine, too. I'm just going to SD, though. Let's see what he wants to do. Uh, I don't know what he has for me. For uh, Home Edge. If he goes into Scrafty... Actually, Scrafty does a lot. I kind of want a Sacred Sword now. If he switches into Scrafty, I'm in a lot of trouble. Because I don't think I live. 
Actually, no, we're Eviolite. We're really bulky. We're living something. He's going to Nasty Plot, so I'm going to go for an SD. He's going to go for a Nasty Plot. So I'm going to Sacred Sword now. Actually, yeah, Sacred Sword's my best play. I'm a Sacred Sword. He's going to Dark Pulse. That's going to take me out. No. That was my, my only chance to win right there was if I... I should have Sacred Sword at the first, the first turn and not gone for... Should have gone for Sacred Sword instead of Sword Stance, because now I think we lose. Now I definitely think we lose to this thing. It's really scary. Um... I can go into Krogon. Nasty Plot's not doing anything to me. I'm sure he has a, uh, I'm sure he has a flying move of some sort, but I can fake out and do a little bit of damage, I guess. <laughs> I think we're actually gonna lose, though, which is kind of unfortunate. This thing's so bulky. Oh my gosh, he's weak armor. Oh no, that's not good either. I'm gonna drain punch. Air Slash is gonna take me out easy. Maybe I should have gone into Abra this whole time, but I don't have anything to hit this thing. Hidden Power Fire is no uh, hitting power. Hidden Power uh, Fighting is doing nothing, so I'm just gonna go for HP Fighting. If it actually kills, then I'm gonna be kind of mad, to be honest. Air Slash takes me out of my Focus Sash. Hidden Power Fighting does uh, does pitiful damage, so we're gonna lose. Uh, this Volibee was a problem for us. <laughs> um, I didn't really have anything for it. I'm going to be honest, I had nothing for this, so I'm just going to protect, get my speed back, but he's going to outspeed anyway, so I'm just going to Aqua Jet, doesn't matter, I don't really care, we're going to lose, so it's fine. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we are not going to be able to win, um, no, I don't think, I still don't think so, uh, I kind of want to belly drum, <laughs> it's, as stupid as that sounds, I kind of wanted to belly drum. <laughs> But uh, we had to mock push to take this thing out. Clan Pearl's gonna come out now. I I want a belly drum just in case we live. If we live, then maybe we win. I'm gonna belly drum. Please live, live, live. No. Okay. Actually, belly drum was a bad play. I thought we were gonna outspeed, uh, but we did get a speed drop. So that guy absolutely bodied me. He said GG, so I better say it back. So I'm not mean. Uh, so we're gonna say GG back, and then we're gonna get up out of here. That guy bodied me. Uh, Volibee was a really big threat. Volibee is actually pretty scary. Be honest, Bullaby is actually really scary. So uh, we're one and one now in this episode, which is kind of disappointing because the first win wasn't necessarily against somebody that was really good. Uh, this guy seemed a lot better, and unfortunately, we got completely bodied. If I had gone for Sacred Sword, I think we would have done a little more. Um, if I had gone for Shadow Sneak plus two, I kind of want to calc that just to see really quick while we're looking for a battle. Um, let me see. What was I? Hone Edge. Hone Edge, Sword Stance, plus two attack against a Bullaby. Um, I still, don't think I still, I still fail to think that we uh, that we kill with a with a uh, Shadow Sneak. We didn't do anything, so that was the right play. It was the right play. It was the wrong play, but it was the right play at the same time. You know. <laughs> um, not sure what his lead is. Probably Crustle. So I can lead with uh, Carvana, or I can lead with Maggie. I'm actually just gonna lead with uh, his Bug Rock. So I kind of want to leave a Carvana, to be honest. Um, I can leave a Krogon, actually. I can, I'm going to leave a Krogon. If he wants to leave a Torchic, that's fine, too. He actually does. So he's going to protect, get the speed boost. Um, so maybe I should have led with Honedge. He's going to protect, though, for sure. No doubt. Right? So I'm just going to fake out here. Actually, I could go into Honedge. But I'm not real enough to do that. Honedge is steel type, so I'm, I'm not real enough to do that. So he might sub. If he's smart, he protects. That's that's the best play. If he wants to sub, then he can sub, but I don't think he's going to do that. He just protects. That's the easy play, the right play. So now I go for a poison jab. He's obviously, I think he's going to go into Faroki here. Um, I still think I can I can do whatever I want. Carvana, to be honest. Uh, he's gonna, just going to get some speed. Uh, smart play here. He's just going to pass all of the speed onto something else. Probably Froki, and it's going to do a lot to me. <laughs> I do have Mock Punch on Magby. I do have some I do have some priority users. I have Shadow Sneak, Mock Punch, and I have Fake Out. So he's going to Baton Pass out. Um, Froki is... Gasly's going to come out and take this Poison Jab. Why would he pass to Gasly? Gasly's already fast. I'm not sure why he did that, but that's fine too. Um, I can go into Honech here, actually. Or Carvana. No. I, I feel like my best play is Porygon. Yeah. My best play is Porygon. I'm going into Porygon here. Um, 
Unfortunately, I trace a attack instead of special attack, which is kind of disappointing. I'm going to go for Psy Shock. He's going to Sludge Bomb. Not going to take me out. He does get the poison. Uh, Psy Shock is going to be enough to take out Ghastly, so uh, I would expect Torchic again to come in and protect. Try to get a speed boost off and pass it to something, so that's exactly what's going to happen. He's going to protect, so I'm going to recover. Um, then I can go straight for a uh, Thunderbolt or Tri-Attack or whatever I want, really. He's actually going to kill me with a Fire Blast, so that was an interesting play on his part, so I kind of want to go into Carvana and pull a double on his... Um, switch but I'm actually going to I'm actually gonna go into my he would hit the fire blast too you know he really would he really would hit the fire blast too so I kind of want to go into Krogon and get a fake out off but then I kind of want to go into you I wonder if shadow sneak kills Torchic. probably not I would say no just uh, just just I would I would think not maybe though I don't know no, it definitely doesn't, because uh, plus two does 40%, so it's actually doing 28%, which is not enough. So I, I kind of want to go into Abra. Um, I don't know if he outspeeds if I go into Abra. I can't. No, I think Carvana's my only play here. If he goes for Protect, that's fine. But Aqua Jet is going to KO this Torchic if he stays in, but I think he's going to Baton Pass out. Maybe into Shroomish. Um, actually, he can't, he's not going to Baton Pass. He's going to Protect. But he can't Baton Pass now because he's trapped. Because an Aqua Jet is going to take him out. So that is that is really good for us. Um, I was thinking if he Baton Passes, he would go into Shroomish. But he can't Baton Pass. He's not faster than us. Especially since we're using Aqua Jet. So that's good. He's going to go into Shroomish here, though. Easy play um, for him. So I kind of want to go into Hone Edge. Not because I can do anything, but just because he can't do anything to me. But I, I think my best play is probably protecting just to see what he wants to do um, he is going to go straight for a spore which is what I expected him to do um so I can go for a crunch I don't know how much crunch is going to do to shroomish it is stab shroomish is pretty bulky though I think right carvana against a shroomish maybe I'm wrong about shroomish maybe I'm thinking of a different pokemon being bulky but oh he is okay let's say he's defensive uh, crunch is going to do 68 he's going to spore and put me asleep which is um, I don't necessarily care about that. Because Carvana's kind of done now. So I can switch out. On this, um, Giga Drain. I'm actually going to switch out on the Giga Drain into Krogonk here. Uh, it's not going to do any damage to me, and I can just go ahead. And I can go for a Poison Jab. He actually subs. Ooh, that's not good. I'm going to Poison Jab now. I should have faked out. No, he's Focus Punch Shroomish. That does nothing. I kind of want to power up punch now, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not that real. I'm going to poison jab. If he stays in, he's dead. Okay, he's gone. So that's good. That's good for us. So he's got a couple options here. Abra's his best one. I'm assuming that that's what he's going to go out into. If that's the case, then I let uh, Carvana burn and turn to sleep, and he's probably going to go for energy while and take Carvana out. But I don't need Carvana anymore. As I think I can kill Crustle with Magby or Toxicroak or Abra. I, I I've got I think I've got Crustle handled, actually. So um, Abra's his best switch, maybe Froki. I don't I'm not 100 percent sure what he's gonna do. Um, I don't know how much Froki's gonna take a drain punch though, to be honest. Krogonk actually really walls, uh Shroomish in this tier. I didn't really realize how bad it was. And Carvana kind of prevents Torchic from doing anything as well. So, Because if Torchic and Carvana are in at the same time, Torchic can't do anything. So he's actually going to go into Abra here. So now uh, I have to go into Carvana. That's my best play. And uh, I can go into my Krogon and go for a fake out after Carvana's dead. And then I can go for a... Uh, he's actually going to Psychic. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting for him to uh, want to go for a energy ball. Maybe he doesn't have energy ball, though. I guess he doesn't. Uh, so he's actually... I'm going to stay asleep. Um, so I'm going to wake up this turn, and I'm going to get a crunch off on this Froki. Actually, no, I don't, unfortunately. Uh, U-turn's going to kill me, but that's fine for me, because now I get to see what he wants to go out into. Uh, if it's Abra, then I can go for a fake out. Uh, it's actually Dwebble. I kept saying Crustle, didn't I? It's actually Dwebble. Um, Rock Bug. Rock Bug is, is a little troublesome for me. 
to be completely honest. I don't know what, what I can do to this thing, to be honest. Uh, I kind of want to count some of these Pokemon just to see. I kind of want to see what I can do. Drain Punch does a lot. Um, he's going to be sturdy, so I can fake out Drain Punch him. That That's a play. I can go to Magby and go for a... Uh, I can actually go to Magby. Fire Punch isn't going to do a lot, though. So I kind of want to go into Krogunk and fake out now. And then get a, get off a Drain Punch. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with Krogunk and get off a Drain Punch. Um, Krogunk isn't really useful anymore. I'm going to fake out first, obviously. Uh, is this, this Krogunk isn't useful to me anymore. Uh, his sturdy is going to be broken. He's not going to be able to get Berry Juice back just yet, if that's what he is. I'm just trying to look and see. Yeah, I should be fine. I don't really need Krogunk anymore. He is, he's going to have sturdy, uh, obviously, and Berry Juice. So I kind of want to power up Punch on this turn, to be honest. And not take him down to his Berry Juice. We are going to get some, uh, some attack raises here. Um, I, I realistically can power up Punch again. I can power up punch again or I can drain punch. I can power up punch again or I can drain punch. Uh, I'm gonna look it look it up again. I shouldn't have ever taken it off of him actually, but I'm gonna look it up again really quick. And uh, drain punch from this range should not be enough to take this thing out. So I'm actually gonna go for another power up punch here, uh, just to get. He's gonna get berry juice now. Yeah. So now I can. Uh, oh, that did a lot. I'm gonna drain punch. It's my best play. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to take this thing out, but. Uh, we're not going to live another Earthquake either, but that's fine. Because now I can go into my Magby. I believe a Drain Punch should kill. Uh, we definitely should outspeed, though. So I can just go for a Fire Punch. I'm going to go into Magby. Um, Rocks is going to hurt, but I can go for a Fire Punch here and take this thing out. This is going to be closer than I want it to be. I'm going to be honest. Uh, Magby can handle Froakie. Uh, a combination of Hone Edge and Abra can handle... Oh, wow. He went straight out into Froakie. So, now I'm kind of worried, but I'm actually just going to go for a Thunder Punch on this thing. That's going to do a lot. Um, Hydro Pump is going to take me out. That's fine. Now I can go into Abra. And I can go for an Energy Ball on this thing. And I think... I think I win. I think I win because either way I can break his Abra's Sash. Uh, I think he... Yeah. Okay, so Energy Ball is fine. I'm going to Energy Ball here. On the Froakie, it's going to take Froakie out, and now he's going to bring out his Abra, and uh, we are going to trade shots. We're both going to be focus sashed, and uh, Hone Edge is going to be able to win the match for me because he's going to have uh, Shadow uh, Sneak, so we're going to win. Psychic is going to do nothing, but Shadow Sneak is going to be able to take Abra out anyway, so I'm just going to Energy Ball. Just in case we win the Speed Tie, we don't. Uh, two Speed Ties lost, unfortunately. It's kind of disgusting, but it doesn't matter because Hone Edge can come out now, and Hone Edge can win me the game with a Shadow Sneak, so that is the play. And uh, GG, my opponent, well played on his part and mine. Uh, he didn't type GG because he just left, but that's fine. Uh, so I kind of want to see how long we've been recording for. I don't think it's been too long. It's been about 20 minutes. So I'm going to look for another battle, but I'm also going to check as well just to see. Uh, it's been 23, so yeah, we got a couple of battles left. I, like I said, guys, I really enjoy Little Cup. I'm really, I'm really having a lot of fun playing Little Cup. Uh, I played it a lot in stream as well, and it's just a lot of fun. Like it's just a fun tier. There's so many. Uh, different sets to run. There's so many different mods to use. I mean, Little Cup is just, it's, it's really a fun tier to play. Uh, it's, it reminds me a lot of, um, what is it, RU? It reminds me a lot of RU because RU's got a lot of different uh, Pokemon you can use in a lot of different sets, and it's pretty fun. Uh, this tier, though, I really enjoy this tier a lot. Um, so let's see. This guy's going to be leading with Aeron. He's got a pretty interesting team as well. Uh, Magby actually wins. Magby actually wins. Uh, if I can break Magnemite Sturdy. Yeah. Magby can actually win me the game right now. Oh, well, not right now, but he can win me the game uh, soon. So, I'm going to leave a Krogunk here and go for a fake out on Aeron, and then I can drain punch and kill it. Uh, as I'm assuming that's what's going to lead. Actually, Cottony leads, which is even better, because now I can go for a fake out on whatever he wants to bring in. If he stays in, then that's fine too, but it's not going to stay in. He's going to bring something else in. He's going he's gonna to bring out Aeron. Uh, he's going to take the fake out. So Sturdy is gone. Now I can just go for a uh, Drain Punch on this thing, I think. Actually, do I want to do that or do I want a Power Up Punch? Drain Punch definitely kills Aeron, I think. Definitely should kill Aeron. Sturdy lead. Um, 
Well, he's, he wasn't leading, so maybe not. Maybe he's not sturdy lead. But uh, I should still be able to... If I get off a power-up punch now, um, I don't know how much that's going to do. So I, I just want to check really quick and see. Power-up punch is going to kill, so I can just go straight for a free power-up punch, to be honest. I'm going to power-up punch. I didn't kill. Wow, so he's going to Earthquake, and he's going to kill me. Oh, oh, he's got Berry Juice. Oh, my. So I'm going to power-up punch again. It's not going to kill, but... Um, He's going to get up his rocks, which is kind of annoying for uh, my Magby, but that's fine. Power-up punch kills there, but uh, he's sturdy again, so he's going to Earthquake and take me out with a crit. I think the crit mattered, unfortunately. So I can go out to Hone Edge or I can go out to Magby. Uh, if I go out to Magby, then I have to, I have to mock punch him. I can go out to Hone Edge and I can go for Shadow Sneak, though. I think my best play is Hone Edge because he's, he's bulkier than anything else. That really sucks because that was my Cottony counter. Um... A little disappointing that the first power-up punch didn't kill. I should have just gone for Drain Punch instead of being uh, a little greedy. I'm surprised he lived it, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but I guess that's just the way it goes. So I don't know what I can do to this Cottony with Hone Edge. Probably nothing. I'm going to see if I can't set up on it, though. Because I want to know what he can do to me. Cottony. Um, I'm going to say maybe sub -seed. I don't really know. I don't have Iron Head on it. I probably should. Uh, Shadow Sneak's not going to do a ton. Sacred Torch not going to do a ton. But if I am plus two, this is a really interesting uh, thing for him to bring out into me. I, I kind of want to Swords Dance, to be honest. He might try to put me to sleep, but I'm going to Swords Dance up. He's going to switch a Rue. So he's going to give me the Black Sludge. He's going to get an Evia Light, which is a little scary. Uh, I'm going to lose some Black Sludge damage there, but I am plus two now. So I kind of want to go Shadow Claw. If I'm plus two... I wonder what Shadow Claw is actually going to do to this thing. Shadow Claw is going to do a lot. Shadow Sneak still does a lot too, but I'm going to Shadow Claw. That's my best play. He's going to protect. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to lose some health. That's fine. Maybe I should have SC'd up again. But I'm not that real. I didn't really think he was going to go for protect. He's just trying to waste out my uh, home edge here. Black Sludge does put me on a timer, and it does leave me susceptible for other things to kill me. He Dazzling Gleams, that does nothing, and uh, Shadow Claw's going to do a lot, and I can kill him with the next, um, actually, I'm going to Sword Stance on this Protect, because that's definitely what he's going to do, no doubt, so I'm going to Sword Stance up here on this Protect, so we're going to lose 10, I think, on Black Sludge, which is kind of annoying, but I'm going to Shadow Sneak, and take out his Cottony, um, I'm plus 3 now, and I do have, what, 3 more turns, so, this is kind of okay, He's going to go into Carvana and Protect. So I'm going to go ahead and SD on his Protect. Uh, so I'm plus four. So this plus four Shadow Sneak should do a lot to Carvana. It should do a lot. I don't. I, I know it's resisted, but it's still... It is Stab, and it is plus four. Or plus six. I'm plus six now, not plus four. Plus six Shadow Sneak kills Carvana easy. So I Shadow Sneak. And I take this thing out easy. So even though he did technically make a good play. Does he have Protect on any of these other mods? I sure hope not. He's going to go into uh, Magnemite here, though. So, I kind of want to go for a Shadow Sneak again. I kind of have to. It's definitely going to take him out. Oh, he's got Protect. Oh, okay. That's actually fine. Because now I can, what I can do is I can go into uh, my... I can go to my Carvana. Oh, wait. No, I think that's the play I have to make, actually. Is going into Carvana. I almost have to do that. I can go to Porygon, though. I can actually go to Porygon. And I can try attack this thing a couple of times. Uh, I don't want him to get his uh, Sturdy here. Or his Berry Juice. I want this to do about 50. I want this to do close to 50. Maybe 51. Maybe let it be a roll. But it is resisted, so maybe it won't be. It's not going to be. What's the Psyshock going to do? I actually want to see. Um, Shadow Sneak. Getting that Shadow Sneak off would have been nice. He's going to be Recycle. Um, sturdy Magnemite. It's a really annoying set, but you know what happens. Um... I'm assuming he's LC Sturdy Berry Juice. He's not going to be Choice Scarfed into Protect. So Shadow Ball is going to do a lot. Psychic is going to do a lot. Tri Attack is going to do a lot. So I can actually Tri Attack. It is going to be a roll. So he's going to go for Toxic. That's fine. I am plus one and a half, though. He's going to get the... Oh, we're going to get the Freeze. Oh, wow. So that's really nice. We get the Freeze. Uh, so now I can just... Um, I kind of want to Psy Shock. I kind of want to Psy Shock. He thought out right away. Wow. So he's going to Protect. Uh, and let this Toxic do a lot to me. This Magnemite's really an annoying set, by the way. So if you guys are out there and you're thinking about running a Magnemite set, please don't. Just don't. 
Um, it's it's so it's such a brainless set because you just you can just run it and you don't have to have any kind of thought process or anything behind it. So now I think I'm free to go for another try attack. I kind of want to protect or eminent recover on his protect. That's what I'm gonna do. He actually recycles, so that's kind of not good. So he's gonna recycle. I think I can kill it with a try attack or a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's not gonna kill. I wish I had Shadow Ball now. Thunderbolt is uh, not gonna kill, but I am plus. I am plus one. I am plus one. So try attack is still a roll. I'm just gonna go for try attack on his Thunderbolt. Please don't. Please kill. It didn't kill, of course. So Barry Juice is gonna bring him back all the way back up. So that is really annoying. That's really annoying. It's really annoying. So. Um, I kind of want to go into Magby and go for a Belly Drum. Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to go into Carvana, and I'm going to go for a uh, Aqua Jet. Break is sturdy, and uh, we can see what we can do from there. I'm actually just going to Aqua Jet here. That did. That was a crit, of course. So, he's going to Toxic and miss. Uh, actually, the crit was fine, because now, now I think we win. Now I think we win. Uh, the crit was fine. The crit didn't matter. I forgot that he didn't use Recycle yet, so... It didn't matter. Uh, that was good. I mean, it helped, obviously, but it didn't really matter too much. So, now we're plus two speed. Uh, he can bring out his Clawitzer if he wants to. This is over. Uh, because I think I can kill his bag on. He's going to go into Clawitzer. I said Clawitzer before. I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm going to go for Crunch. Should not be enough to take it out. Uh, he's going to live on ten. He's going to go for a U-turn and kill me. Which is fine. He's going to go into bag on now. What do I have for bag on now? Does Abra do any damage to Bagon? Enough, anyway? I think it should, right? I'm gonna look and see what I can do to Bagon. Little Cup Dragon Dance Bagon against my Abra. Um, I kinda. kinda a little nervous now. What is Psych? Oh, Psychic. It's a one shot. Never mind. <laughs> I was worried for nothing. Uh, so Abra wins. Um, I thought I could win with Magby. Uh, that's not how it played out. <laughs> I ended up playing out the way I, I could win with Abra, so. I'm just gonna. What? Wow. This is annoying. This is actually annoying. That was a low roll, by the way. It had to have been a low roll. So, it doesn't matter, though, because I do have Mach Punch on my um, my Magby, so I can just Mach Punch here. He's going to Zen Headbutt, but I can just Mach Punch and kill this, and then I can uh, straight uh, I can go straight for Mach Punch against Falter as well. So, I'm going to Mach Punch and kill. Please, it, it, this, this has to kill. There's no way it doesn't. It doesn't kill. No way. It definitely kills. Okay, good. <laughs> I was I was a little worried there for a second that it wasn't gonna kill, but it did, so that's good. So now Clauncher's gonna come out, Mach Punch is gonna take this thing out as well. I don't think it's Sakwa Jet, so it doesn't matter. So alright, we are gonna get the win there. That is a good win for us. Uh we ended up beating the stall Magnemite team that uh a lot of people like to run. I wouldn't necessarily call it stall, I would say that's more annoying than anything. I don't know why I went for Toxic instead of just going for Thunderbolt, but we are in the 1200s on uh, in the little cup tier so uh, I'm gonna end the video right here you guys if you guys enjoyed session one of, our, of this week's uh, little cup videos if you guys enjoyed episode three of little cup videos like in general then make sure that you leave a like down below uh, that was really that was clunkily worded I really I really worded that very clunky uh, but it doesn't matter if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff down below uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. Uh, we will be live streaming every single day of the week, except for weekends. So, uh, yeah, like I said, just go ahead and do all that if you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to record session number two. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.